Hi, and welcome back to the ISO Builder. I've just installed QMU, Super Shift Q, Super Shift D, excuse me, and then QMU. These are all QMU things. Or Control T, QMU, tap, tap. So these are the elements that have been installed because of a script. Discover, right? Arch Wiki, QMU, see what you need to do to have this particular application. Then make a script so you don't need to figure it out again six months later. And then we have this virtual manager I have installed as well. Virtual machine manager is the name. Click. And this is QMU. Now I have to, well, the, the icon has changed here. Create a new virtual machine. So plus, take a look around, new virtual machine, edit, there's some preferences here. We can have a look at view help. All right, new virtual machine. Let's move you a little bit to the, in the middle. So we're on left WM. I press on super and left mouse click and I move about this little thing. Local install media. Uh -huh. Let's install the latest Arclinx from one hour ago. So create new volume. No, I have to think again. How was it again? Uh -huh. No media selected. I think I would have a look. Yeah, browse local. And then um, we need to go to the shared core team. And let's install the Arclinx Excel. So the one that uh, has been built, you see it's seven o'clock. And here it's 10 o'clock, a few hours ago. Now, he can't uh, choose operating your installing, non-detected. We have to help him, so automatically detect is not going to help. We're going to say that this is a Arch Linux system. Yeah, okay. And then we go forward. Memory, wow, that's not enough. So, 8 gigabytes CPU, I have 16, 8 for him. Memory is 32, I believe, on this one. So eight is more than enough. I always take 30, right? But not less than 20, 30. Forward. Arch Linux, no, not really. It's Arch Linux and it's the big one, Excel version. So lots of software coming in. Interesting, if you don't know anything about software on Linux, then you get already uh, an, yeah, a choice, a selection. So here you see with the scripts, everything launches. It's a matter of how to do things. What I'm now going to find out, of, look for, is how can I make this uh, bigger, right? So Control Alt, I have my mouse back and a view. I have full screen here. And this is probably the issue that was reported, well, the issue of the question that was uh, on Discord earlier on. How do I get my resolution right in QMU? And it's already documented, I think, in another video on YouTube. But nevertheless, it's always good to have a look at it again and see what's going on on QMU because updates will happen and things will go wrong and then you have to figure it out. Now, in XFCE, it's actually not that difficult because you have system settings. You have a display and in the display you can say whatever you want and in my case is this one 1920 1080 and then you apply it and you keep this configuration you close this thing and everything is back uh, the way it should be a bit smaller well a bit bigger actually eh? the full real estate of all the pixels here is being used and now it's just updating and installing which i will not do what is possible is that you don't have a settings like in cinnamon like in mate like in plasma there is something that you don't have the solution is well actually that's good that it's big <laughs> every book body can read it so clear my keyboard is not yet okay let's go to azerti so clear what's next if everything is failing then it's a render a render is a little thing so you can set here if you have HDMI 1 and 2 you see that both of them you put them next to each other and that's that uh, what else can you do you can have outputs here resolution you can choose it here as well all the settings you can you want to have so that's an interesting way 
and a render is actually a GUI for X render. So I always grab faster to the A render thing because it's so visually, it's, it's just drag and drop and save and that's it. You can save the layout, save as, and you give it, not often I'll give it a name, Eric, right? And it's in the home folder, dot screen layout, Eric. And all you have to do is make sure that this thing runs. And what it contains is nothing more that would be written or copy pasted somewhere in a configuration of BSPWM of awesome of the, one of the 28 desktops, right? You can put it somewhere. Let's see, let me show you the screen layout. This one, it's a pure, simple X render command. Output is the screen, primary mode, this is the resolution, positions rotate normally, not on, uh, well, normal rotation, right? You can, so you can read it. So this line can easily go, Control C, in something that is out of started with any of the tiling window managers. Well, I hope I've covered more or less the possibilities, maybe one thing more, and there, there is something called pseudo pacman minus s auto render. Maybe you can try that out as well. Let's do a pseudo pacman minus s get the updates in. This only means read database file, it does not exist. Ah, get the databases in. So auto render is an application it's coming from Arch, not from us. Arch Linux application. And if you install it, there is a possibility to do some things. So have a look, the possibilities that it has. For me, it's simple. I type auto render horizontal, that's it. Um, where can we find that? Horizontal, horizontal somewhere, explained. Profiles default, load safe, patch current. I must have missed it somewhere, list all profiles. But take a look at the code and at the projects online. But auto render horizontal is something he gets. And normally, normally eh, all our, our things are next to each other, our screens are next to each other, not above each other, because that's another thing, vertical. So this is something you can try if you have two screens, three screens, four screens, horizontally next to each other. Well, now we've covered everything that um, that's, is about a resolution. Now we have to, uh, this beautiful screen here, <laughs> which I can reset again. Of course, when I have a good eyesight and change it again to 1920, because this is super big now. And that's of course not the idea. Anyway, QMU looks to be all right. Uh, it knows the size if you set it. And um, voila, enjoy QMU. Some like it, some love it, some others hate it. It's uh, a choice, like always, Linux. It's choices, choose whatever you like, but um, learn also about the possibilities of other virtual machines. All right, cheers.